It's an academic exercise, it's a bloodless exercise, and it actually, I think, takes away some of the imagination and the instinct that you need to succeed. Hi, I'm Michael Calvin, author of No Hunger in Paradise. All you ever wanted to know about making it as a pro, but were afraid to ask. The Elite Player Performance Plan uh, was introduced five years ago by the Premier League. The aim is to put some structure into youth development. It's since swallowed up 400 million pounds, it's going to swallow up another 400 million pounds by 2020. It is a huge amount of money. We're talking about you know, nearly a billion pounds being invested in that area. In my view, they've gone too far. It's very bureaucratic. A lot of coaches complain they spend more time in front of their computer inputting data than they actually do getting grass on their boots and working with the boys under their charge. From my point of view, it's an academic exercise, it's a bloodless exercise, and it actually, I think, takes away some of the imagination and the instinct that you need to succeed. If you look across sport, the best systems are balanced. I think the EP3, to give it its trade name, is actually too balanced in favour of academia and the whole idea of everything must be measured. You can't measure heart, you can't measure mentality, you can't measure attitude.